Mark Dresser, and this is Michael Dresser here in uh, UC Irvine, and this is Myra Melford on piano, and this is uh, Telemotion's uh, a network uh, telepresent intermediate concert, and um, we're going to uh, do a 70 minute performance for you, and I, it's my honor to introduce Larry Smarr, who's the director of Cal IT, UC San Diego, and UC Irvine. Larry? Thanks a lot. Hello, Irvine. Uh, this is a uh, really important, path-breaking performance you're seeing. It's, it it would be very interesting for its own right, but within Cal IT2, it's characteristic of what, over the next 10 years, we're going to be doing in investigations into what we call culture, which is one of our four path forwards for the next 10 years, energy, environment, health, and culture. And the culture is really that we are learning to live and work and play in an increasingly mixed virtual physical space. And so one of the things we do five or 10 years ahead of what goes on in the marketplace is experiment with what these new capabilities uh, enable. And so tonight you're really seeing an experiment in living in the future. The optocuter connection is a dedicated one gigabit, two, two one gigabit, that's 1,000 megabits a second for those of you who have 10 megabits on your cable modems at home. It's, it's 100 times that. Uh, but the more important thing is that it's fixed jitter. There's no traffic like you're competing with everybody else on the normal internet. There's nobody on them but this performance. And that makes a tremendous difference when you're in this uh, intermediary, intermediate um, sound and, and uh, visuals and, and everything else, computers. The last thing I'll say is that, that this is a really a perfect poster child for a Cal IT2 project. It's multi-departmental, so you've got music and visual arts and theater. You've got multi-campuses between Irvine and San Diego. And you've got uh, multiple mixings of technologies with artistic creativity. And we have always been pleased to have artists uh, at the vanguard of what we do at Cal IT2 for our entire 10-year history. And I think it, this is pretty well taking us into the second 10 years. So couldn't be more excited.
very much. Uh, at this moment, I'd like to introduce Todd Margolis, who's been our uh, program director for this coordinating of all the aspects of this project, and he'll give you some background on all the levels going on here. Thank you. I thought, I thought you were going to do a little intro. You put all the pressure on me. <laughs> Uh, so just to give you a very quick kind of overview of, of how this is sort of all happening, um, basically we're, we're really pushing uh, the, the abilities of the network uh, to beyond its capability. We've actually had to scale quite a bit back um, because we were actually overusing the network. Uh, but basically we've got three channels of uncompressed audio that we're streaming uh, by direction between here and UCI. Um, then we're also streaming uncompressed HD video. So we're using a new type of uh, video teleconferencing system called UltraGrid. Uh, and it's a big improvement from some of the other systems, the more commercial systems we've had in the past, such as uh, the Sony Life Size. So this other system, uh, because it's uncompressed, it actually gives us an extremely, extremely low latency. So the things that we're actually seeing, um, and, and hearing for that matter, are actually uh, very, very rapid response. So it allows this sort of improvisation, all kind of spontaneous. Spontaneous uh, sort of deal between the two locations. Um, besides those two sort of channels of communication, we're also uh, sending video with using a, a piece of software called Active Space that was written by John Crawford at, at UCI, um, and we're actually streaming quite a lot of video with that. So you'll, you'll see more and more of it kind of peeled back over the show. Um, but keep keep an eye out for at least three distinct types of uh, video streams that are being streamed by direction also, and. Uh, I think there's also, uh, at least there's two live cameras here. Uh, no, I'm sorry, three live cameras here, um, as well as uh, an extra camera over there that's all being sent into to these various video channels and being processed and layered and textured uh, to try to fit with the immersive quality of the, of the audio and the music. I think I've got enough
Sweets, uh, pieces by each of us. Uh, the la this last sequence was uh, two pieces of mine, Telemotives, and yours, mine, and ours, uh, which was morphed into uh, an interpretation of a painting that uh, Myra Melford brought in called Yours, Mine, uh, excuse me, called Curtain uh, by Don uh, Wright. Um, we, you know, We'd like to break down, for those of you who haven't seen this kind of performance before, something about kind of the process of how, we're, uh, how we go about putting together this music. Um, one of the things that has been most gratifying about this technology uh, is that and we've been able to develop this music in rehearsal from the convenience of our studios uh, in our offices and uh, and I could actually rehearse from my, my office at, at, here at UCSD, Michael at uh, UCI, and uh, Myra, she goes to uh, CINMAT uh, at Berkeley. So, and we, make, we can do these informal rehearsals, and we've been, you know, workshopping these pieces over the past year, which has been, you know, this is the, the best thing that you ever want with any group of musicians that you can be with, is actually the, the luxury to uh, develop the music. And, uh, and this technology and this network that we are afforded here at, at, at these university and research institutions really gives us uh, something uh, really valuable and significant for us. Um, uh, Michael, would you like to add something? Well, um, one thing to point out is that one of the reasons we're talking, apart from wanting to talk to you, is to give Myra a little time to do some really interesting things she's doing there <laughs> on the piano. <laughs> Um, and I can say that from a musical standpoint, one of the things I love about working with both Mark and Myra is that both of them have really developed a very personal vocabulary on their instruments. You know, they can both play piano and bass in all the normal ways just fine. 
uh, better than most people. But they've also really done a lot of research into the acoustic properties of their instrument and all the different possibilities, studying all the different things that the instrument can do uh, beyond just what composers normally write for you to play if you're a performer. They're, they're also composers and improvisers, and so they've really developed these vocabularies. So um, you're hearing Mark at various moments really show some of these techniques, and you're hearing Myra in, that, in the opening of that last uh, block of music that we played, and again in, in the coming one. You'll hear these sounds coming out of the piano that don't sound anything like a piano. It's called preparing the piano, and it's been, it's a, it's an approach that's been around for a long time, starting over half a century ago, but every pianist that does it develops their own set of things they stick in there and ways that they use them in their own sort of sound world. So um, one of the great things about working in this environment is that you can really hear the sounds very well. It's a very intimate kind of uh, music sometimes where some of the real tiny details of the sounds come through if you have good microphones and things as we do. So it's, uh, it's really interesting to see that the different sonic landscapes that, that Mark and Myra uh, develop. And the other thing I just want to say really quickly about this music we're doing is that, um, because often there's a lot of confusion about this, we are playing compositions that are partly pre-composed, but there's a lot of improvisation in them. And people often think that it's either all written out and we're just reading it, or that we're improvising everything. But in fact, it's in all the areas in between. And I'd also just want to close by giving a thanks to all the crew, especially down in San Diego where there's a huge crew of people behind the scenes that we can't even see here running around and in the booths and doing all kinds of, of things to make the visuals work, so. Um, yeah, well, in addition, I think, you know, we can't underestimate our, our collaborators here, uh, Victoria Petrovich and Scenic Design and, uh, and, and John Crawford and the Telematic Video. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, what these, this beautiful set that you see here, uh, in San Diego, I don't really know what it looks like in, uh, uh, in Irvine. Uh, Victoria designed, and uh, what's, and I'll say it another way uh, than what Todd said, is that all the imagery uh, that's coming here, either from our cameras here, or, uh, are, are is coming, is being processed through uh, John Crawford's uh, At The Space video. And, um, and they're improvising with us. They, they, they have a roadmap of what we're doing, and, uh, and they have materials uh, uh, that they've pre-prepared as well as uh, they're processing the images of, our, of us and also we have these paintings that, that are functioning for us as scores as well. So I really want to, uh, uh, I, the, the, the thing that's most remarkable to me uh, about um, uh, this kind of telepresence collaboration is that it's really a community affair, it just doesn't happen by, it's not just do it yourself. It, you really have to really uh, collaborate and uh, share ideas and trust and work to uh, find common ground with people uh, with different ex sets of expertise. And it's been uh, very, very gratifying. Uh, I want to thank everyone uh, on our team who's uh, been a part of this. And all right, uh, we'd like to continue with the next piece.
Thank you.
backwards, that was uh, Don Wright's painting, City of Illusion, preceded by Michael Desson's, did you title this one, Michael? <laughs> I know it is untitled three, but it had a brand new title as well. Which one, the one we did? Yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah. That was called <coughs> Optiputatively Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and that was preceded by a, a Don Wright painting, uh, Untitled Four. We'd like to conclude tonight's concert with a sequence of pieces. Um, piano music, deep forest, and what was this? Quark? Quark charm. Quark charm.
Myron Elford. Yeah. Mark Dresser. Yeah. Michael Jefferson. John Crawford. Victoria Petrovic. Thank you.